Yeah, welcome. So a wise man once said that work out your issues before you take on power, before you take on influence. Work on your personal issues, work on yourself and fix those issues because if you don't fix those personal issues, they will cause you to lose everything whenever you achieve uh a, a, a place in society which involves you having power you know what i mean and we can see where a lot of great men and women have lost their place in society because they abused power whether it may be recording artists you know what i mean who have gone to jail because they couldn't handle their entourage they couldn't handle their influence over others whether it may be politicians who lost their way because they couldn't handle the power which they had you know what i mean and as such i want to direct this to the new crop of dancehall artists you know what i mean which are you know basically embroiled in a feud right now allegedly people like intense you know what i mean people like joshi people like uh silk box you know what i mean it is being said that a lot of those young artists are you know joining together and <laughs> are embroiled in beefs you know what i mean it is also alleged that one particular recording artist you know what i mean had his entourage members um abuse you know what i mean physically another dancehall artist recently and um the climate that Jamaica is in right now is no place for that, for that. Because the country is plagued by so much gang war. You know what I mean? Politicians had, you know, armed criminals over the years with weapons and so forth. And has caused, you know, a lot of good areas to be destroyed, you know, and became inner cities as a result. And with the advent of the lottery scamming, and you know dance being developed into more powerful forces and stuff like that they have also begun to arm themselves and so jamaica has become one of the most violent places in the world you know so whenever you try to diss someone or you try to discipline someone or you step on someone's shoes the answer is usually gunshot or whatever so imagine now when you as a young artist you know team up with a lot of the guys from your community who have nothing but because of your notoriety they want to do anything to basically you know win your favor so if somebody disrespects you you know what i mean anything which they regard as being uh not favorable is directed to you they feel like they should hurt someone or harm someone to defend your honor just know that you will bear the blunt of their decisions because you are the face of the crew i mean in the 80s and 90s you know what i mean i'm not saying that artists were all kumbaya and they they all you know live good together in harmony you always had feuds but back then even though you had some physical altercations and such you know what i mean we had some real gangsters back in the day like man like uh like super cat and so forth and josie wales and so forth you know what i mean but there was the whole advent of clashes and people were free to you know deliver lyrical blows against each other on stage in the public domain and then the public would then um um decide who is a victor however no this new generation of artists they don't want to clash each other you know what i mean they are not brave enough to risk their 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 popularity you know on the, the stage because out of the fear that they will be you know laughed after on social media you know what i mean they would be made a mockery and so they don't want to do that they would rather handle it in the streets you know what i mean they would rather trade blows for blows in the street physically or gunshot for gunshot in the streets you know what i mean and that would be detrimental to you and your friends and the music industry by a large extent because once the embassy here 
once the embassy hears that you are embroiled in some form of uh, crime and violence they are, go they are going to take away your traveling privileges and trust me the jamaican authorities will make sure of that because based on what you can see from the way they dealt with tamili sparta ninja man vibes cartel and laden you can see that the, the the arms of the law which never seem to work when ordinary criminals are breaking it always happens to work whenever a recording artist is, is involved all of a sudden they have satellite images they have digital phone records camera is working the investigative skills are working ballistics are working everything is working whenever it is time to convict an artist you know what i mean but whenever politicians and regular criminals are put before the law they are bursting case as you would say you know they're they're um going without being penalized as we can see right now with the clansman trial where they are you know all being set free by this idiotic judge you know what i mean but if it was an artist you best believe that that same idiotic judge would not have speared them you know what i mean the heavy arm of the law so i want to advise these young artists to stay away from these confrontations if you if you are involved in a situation where there's a beef between you and another artist go to the recording studio you write a good song and you release it that artist then responds and you keep it on wax if the situation comes or present itself when you are able to defend yourself on a stage show lyrically then you do that but please refrain from taking this physical because trust me jailhouse was not made for dogs and trust me these politicians and these police officers and these uh, these judges are waiting ready and waiting to put you in those dark lonely rooms where you won't be able to be touring the world you won't be able to be you know having a bag of girl fucking them in the throats like you like to sing about you know what i mean having threesomes like you like to sing about you won't be getting all of those any of those privileges behind bars so you might want to take that into consideration whenever you consider you know taking physical actions against another recording artist because you never know one of your entourage members might just so cause physical harm to someone and they might end up being killed and then you will have to bear the blunt of it and will have to serve life in a jamaican cell and you don't want that i'm out